Why hello you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another first time reaction video this This is a weird one for me. I don't usually get Eminem recommended at all I ever on this channel and that's not me saying I don't like Eminem, but for Eminem I haven't listened to Eminem in years I haven't listened to him in freaking years. Like, I've, I've checked out a couple of collaboration songs he's done on this channel, but I've never listened to a solo MLM song literally since the days of Curtain Call, Encore, or even when he did the, the Re-Up album with a bunch of uh, a bunch of other rappers. Like, that was, that was my, that's my experience with Eminem. Like, how long ago was were all of those albums? 15 years ago or something? It's been a long time. But everybody is talking about Houdini. Everybody is telling me I need to react to this. Apparently it's gonna be one of his last ever music videos, one of his last ever songs. Apparently the music video is insane. Apparently the song is insane. Everyone's been raving about it. And it, this is the first time in ages people have been requesting an Eminem reaction on this channel. So I guess this a person who hasn't listened to any kind of rap other than outside of NF in, in years. This is gonna be kind of a fun reaction, especially considering how much of a huge fan I was of Eminem back in the day. So. I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna keep this intro short, and let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Eminem's brand new super freaking hyped song, Houdini. It's Paul. Uh, I was listening to the album. Good fucking luck. You're on your own. We've got a problem. Check this out. Of course. Jeez, get everybody in this. I'm curious. I'm curious because Eminem's obviously done a lot of um, a lot of growing. <laughs> Let's say growing since the old Slim Shady days, and there was Slim Shady in this music video. I'm, I'm, that's, a, that's a red flag. That's a whole oh man. I'm really loving the vibe of this one as well. It feels well old school. Like I said, I haven't listened to Eminem since like since the Slim Shady EP day, since Encore, since Curtain Call. Those are like the albums I had. Um, and this kind of feels like a, a jump back in time. Weirdly, Slim Shady coming to us, but it feels like we're going back to him. This is such a freaking nod to like old school M man. Like even the instrumental, like the beat, is like a sounds like a remixed version of freaking uh it, it um what is it a freaking feels without me? What was the name of the song? <laughs> man, I, I'm so out of touch. I'm so out of touch. People are gonna flame me in the comment section on this one. This is just me being real. All right, it's been ages. Everyone's been telling me to check this one out, but it's been ages since I did a reaction to this. Um, is it without me? Is that the name of the freaking crazy song? Um, like the instrumental literally feels like 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 a, a revamped version of that, or like just a remixed version of that. But this abracadabra part as well. I love how Eminem always utilizes different songs, changes it up, chucks it in his ones. We've seen it, him doing it a million times, and he does it so freaking well. The music video as well is like an Easter egg thing to old characters. <laughs> Why is he still dressing like that? <laughs> did he just do the noise? I think he just did. Now back in the days of old me, right around the time I became a ghost, coping as a way of coping, take the vote, be get case of vote, eat, turn me into snotty face emoji. My shit may not be age appropriate, but I will hit an eight year old in the face with a participation trophy. I have zero doubts that this whole world's about to turn into some Girl Scouts that sends the shit girls out. So when I started this verse, it did start off lighthearted. It first feels 
Sounds like I'm targeted, mind boggling how my profit is skyrocketed. Look what I pocketed, yeah, the shit is just like y'all have been. Like jogging in, I've been running at full speed, and that's why I'm ahead like my noggin. I'm the fight y'all get in when you debate who the best, but I'm some white chalk and win. I step up to that mic cock it in. Oh my god, it's that chicken out again. This is making me realize M hasn't changed, man. The guy is the same. The guy is the same. The last new song I remember by Eminem listening to was the one he did for Equalizer. What was the singer he did that with? Um, God, I can't even remember the freaking song. Um, but that like song, that it f feels like a close is coming to. What am I gonna do? That one. Um, it's too late to start over. That song, right? That's the last new Eminem song I heard, and I was like, man, this feels like kind of like modernized, but it's like I thought it was a really good song. Um, but this this feels like the same. This this feels like he hasn't changed. I haven't listened to anything between <laughs> like that and here. What's the rest of the stuff like, man? I might need to, I might need to revisit some Eminem stuff here. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Seeing like how the lyrics are changing with Shady coming forward and how Shady's looking at the world and getting like the different perspectives as well. Um, I almost feel like it's like a free pass that Eminem's given himself in this music video by using Shady for these like views on how the world is now. I, I find that really intriguing. <laughs> he's not the hero we want, <laughs> but he's the hero we got. <laughs> Showdown. I like the way he has to chuck that in there as well for that line. He just like, like he has to chuck that in there for that line. Obviously he's talking about his old self. Like we know how much M, M, M has changed over the years. And that's obviously what that line is in, in reference to because old Eminem would say that. Eminem is one of these people who has changed so much over the years, but his music seems to stay the same. But his just, I just say it's the lyrics that have like matured. If you look back at old school Eminem, he'd never say half the stuff he used to say, right? But he still sounds the fucking same. I don't know many artists that can change so much as a person and yet keep so much of their sound. I've never seen them. Like, I'm a huge fan of heavy metal and rock music, and one thing I always notice is when the uh, like the, the singers or the band change, like, as people, when they grow as people, when they stop doing a lot of stuff and they change, their music changes, right? It shifts dramatically. This doesn't feel like anything's changed. This is so weird. Who wins? Who the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell am I look? How many little kids still wanna act like me? I'm a bigger prick than cacti be. And that's why these words sting just like you were being attacked by bees in the coop, leaning back my seat. But Bernard Kelly saved the group, the black guy got peace. In my air max nine They really did create a monster. Oh my word, man. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my word. Um Jesus. Alright, fair enough. Um Alright. Uh I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Um <clears throat> 
Jesus, uh, it really feels like Slim Shady Reborn here, doesn't it? Jesus. I can't believe there's actually his kids there as well for that. Like Dre getting the fuck out of there as well. He's like, if you're gonna say this, you're on your own. Trust me, I'm a great driver. Don't worry, I just got my license back. What the fuck is Pete Davidson doing in this music video? I don't know if my reaction is even going to be fun to watch, to be honest. I've just been shocked this whole time, man. Oh my word. My PG brain. This is so funny. This is insane. I, I don't I don't even know what to say, man. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What the hell did I just listen to? Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my word. Man, it has been a long time. <clears throat> it's been a long time since I listened to Eminem. Like I said, in my in my younger years, this was my go-to, my he was my go-to my go-to rapper. If I was listening to rap music, I was listening to Eminem. Um, what what were my rap albums back in the day? I had a bunch of Exhibit and Snoop Dogg. Um, huge Fifty Cent fan. God man, back when rap was like God, rap you that rap used to be. I haven't really listened to much rap now, but my word. Around like the early 2000s, it was there was just so many good albums, so many. Like I feel, I feel, I feel like it was you would you would go out and you would find it difficult to find a bad rap album. You know, you pick up anything and listen to it, and it would be just great. You know, whether you get some sort of mellow vibes from Snoop, or if you get some terrifying lyrics from Eminem, or just some I, I, like Fifty Cent's beats used to just be insane back in the day. I remember when he brought out his Get Rich or Die Trying uh, movie as well, and he'd use all his beats for the movie, and it, it just made like so many. It was like they were those scenes were made, you know, those beats were made for like movie scenes, you know. Ah, oh. <clears throat> yeah, this isn't what uh, this is. Uh, this is. Uh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised people have been recommending this one to me. Maybe it's because I'm such like um such a softie that people have been recommending this one to me. Obviously, I'd say the final verse when they create the monster, Eminem just I felt like the guy was even in his lines. He's talking about getting cancelled, and yeah, he really was. He, he wasn't pulling any punches. He was he, Eminem was spitting bars like Trey Parker and Matt Stone spit bars to create a South Park episode. That's what it felt like. If I like Eminem was taking some inspiration from them, maybe sat down and was just like, "Yo, guys." I want, I want in on this. <laughs> like, I've been seeing your recent episodes and I want some of that. Um, although Eminem, obviously, before anyone says, like, we're talking about Eminem's been doing it for years. I know. I'm not saying, like, he learned from them. I'm just saying that as an example I was using in the modern day when you think about some of the episodes and the um, and the culture around them recently. But, yeah, I would say, like, um, with this, as someone who's been out of the freaking rap genre for so long, my opinion means nothing, okay? So, whatever. I don't, I don't expect this reaction to do crazy well, but people wanted it, so I figured I'd do it. Um, but yeah, like, I am someone who grew up listening to it, but hasn't really listened to it in a long time. So, all I can say is this. From someone who maybe is, like, in a time capsule, from someone who went to listening this old school rap. Well, no, I would, it's not even called old school rap. I say old school rap to someone else, and they immediately talk about Biggie. You know, in that era of rap. So somebody went from listening to um, like 2000s, that rap scene, right? 90s. And then had a time jump where I just pretty much exclusively listened to heavy metal to where we are now, where I'm listening to everything. Absolutely freaking everything. All different kinds of music from all over the world, different artists. Everything, right? I haven't really heard much from Eminem other than the the, sing the singles that I've like have popped up every now and then. I haven't listened to a single freaking album since those days so as someone with that kind of limited knowledge my opinion of houdini this feels like a track from one of those albums i don't know if what eminem sounds like between then and now but this honestly feels like we've gone back in time and taken an album he, a song he never released and brought it to here and he's released it now 
And the song itself, Houdini, is very intelligently written in the sense that you have modern day Eminem. You know, Eminem who's grown and matured and the lyrics have, have developed alongside that versus Slim Shady. The Eminem who uh, literally if re released a song today, there'd be people with pitchforks outside his house. You know, <laughs> like that. And we had that version of Eminem come into this timeline and basically seeing what the perspective of Slim Shady would be like in today's world. Crazy when you think that not much time has passed in the grand scheme of things and yet everything feels different, right? And that is such an intelligent concept because you have the battle, the, lyric, the lyricism battle between Eminem and Slim Shady. You have this like conflict of emotions and, and attitudes on this track before eventually they create this monster and it just goes off and even Dre is leaving him in the Lambo. But don't worry, Pete Davidson's there. <laughs> He's got your back. Um, so that kind of idea is just a really interesting concept as well. It's, it's like dangerous, but super freaking interesting. And I feel like Eminem pulled it off in a good way. Obviously, there's a million things I don't agree with. Um, but I think that's kind of the point. You know, I don't think I think like the whole point is for the, the stuff you don't agree with to be from Slim Shady's perspective on today's world. And that isn't in the same mind as Eminem. You know what I mean? You know, it's almost like when you watch an episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Some people get really upset about those episodes because the main characters are constantly doing like awful things. And some people say it's like glorifying that. But the whole point is the main characters are awful people. So you're supposed to not like like them. You know what I mean? Even though it's, it's, the show is brilliant, that's the whole point. And the creators of uh, Always Sunny always come out and say that. They go, the whole point is the main characters are supposed to suck. You're not supposed to like them. You, you know, they're supposed to suck. Um, <clears throat> I feel like Eminem's done something similar with Houdini, bringing Slim Shady to now, look the perspective and how Slim Shady's looking at the world and how the lyrics revolve around that, especially with the last verse. We're not supposed to be sitting here and going, ah, this is Eminem. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be saying, ah, this is Slim Shady's idea of what the world is now. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, it's like, it's stuff that I imagine that most people are going to be like, whoa. But that I think is the point. As for this song being his last song or one of his last songs, what does that mean? Everyone's been saying that this is that this could be his last music video. It's been rumored that it could be one of his last music videos, which is mainly why I wanted to do a reaction to it. If this is one of Eminem's last music videos, I wanted to be part of this history. You know, I wanted to put a reaction out, even if it doesn't do well, just to have it on my channel that I can remember that <coughs> on the day Eminem released his last music video, I was there. I'm assuming we might get a few more, but I really wanted to make sure I checked this one out. I feel like Eminem has done such an incredible job at going back and just making, somehow putting himself in the mindset of old Eminem, writing a song around his old mindset, his old characters, re re revitalizing them for this music video, bringing back so many freaking cameos from different people who have played a part in the history of Eminem to now, this song really feels like we've come full circle, going back in time, bringing Slim Shady to the future, Slim Shady battling with the modern day Eminem, and Eminem having to revamp a lot of these old cameos and old characters to fight the Slim Shady, <laughs> like, <laughs> monster that's terrorizing this city, and the different, like, concepts on it and everything. I feel like the music video is is just kind of, like, really genius in that regard. Yeah, it's, it's just, this is, like, this is, for me, as someone who hasn't, who's been out of it for so long, this really just feels like I've just listened to a song from, like, the Slim Shady EP or something, you know? I feel like the instrumental was so intelligently done in how it's obviously been um, sampled from old Eminem tracks and then uh, built upon. Um, I feel like the chorus as well is something you would get from like an old school Eminem chorus too. Uh, nothing like vocalized or poppy, very just old school Eminem. You know, just something that people would just be like singing along to, that just that simple tone on the chorus, which uh, I think Eminem used to do quite a lot, especially with more of his harder lyric songs. And I think the flow on the second and final verse was so freaking clean. And it just made you realize that this is Eminem's style. You know, this is the style that he built upon with his vocals. And this, like, this this is his sound. It's his home. And no one else has got that sound. No one else has ever been able to replicate an Eminem sound. It's his sound. And that uniqueness in his style will, will be here forever. So, yeah, this is, um, <clears throat> this was freaking insane. For, like I said, for someone like me, this literally feels like I've just, I've jumped, like, this feels like someone's gone, did you ever hear this old Eminem song? Check it out. It's like a few months, a few months ago, or a few years ago. <clears throat> someone I used to work with was like, show me a whole like hidden Linkin Park, like uh, hidden release tracks. And I was just like, it was like, what? This, this is Linkin Park. I never heard any of these songs. And that's what this feels like. 
It feels like someone, like Indiana Jones, went to a cave in the middle of some desert somewhere, you know, and in in this in this cave where there's a giant boulder above this like pedestal in the middle of this room with a light shining light beaming down on it was this record and it said Houdini on it and Indiana Jones grabbed that record quickly put a bag of sand there ran out chased by the boulder brought it out to the world and boom press play and this old school relic of the past has been uncovered with Eminem Houdini that's what this track felt like let me know your opinions on this um and let yeah and uh, and what you guys thought about this album uh thought about this song is the album out now as well i'll leave a link to the song in the description go check it out for yourselves um i can't believe how old school this sounds maybe i'm wrong in feeling like that but i really do this really feels and i don't know how eminem's even managed to pull that off like an old eminem song <clears throat> obviously i imagine there's a lot of lines in here that are going to rub people up the wrong way but i think that's kind of the point because the last verse, like every other word, I was like, Jesus, man, what, what are you doing? Um, but again, I think that's the point of the concept. I'm not saying that makes it all right at all, but I think that's the point of it. Uh, you know, Slim Shady's idea on the world now. So I'm interested to see what people think about that as well. But, you know, um, n n like always be respectful, you know? Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. This is a weird reaction for me, <laughs> but it's made me super curious about modern day Eminem. Someone who I don't know anything about. <clears throat> Maybe I should listen to a few more Eminem songs. I don't know how this reaction is going to do, but if you guys would like more, let me know. Because I haven't heard anything from, like, the Encore days. Oh, actually, um, freaking uh, Re-Up came out after Encore. Um, was that Eminem's album? Didn't that have, like, all of D12 on it? Um, but, yeah, G-Unit and D12. But anyway, I haven't listened to anything from those days other than, like I said, that song from the Equalizer movie. So if there's modern-day Eminem songs you guys want me to check out, I wouldn't mind checking him out. Be interested to see the development of him. <clears throat> anyway, like and subscribe. Have an awesome freaking day. Let me know what you thought about this song in that comment section. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.